So welcome back and welcome new subscribers. Let me tell you, we have gotten quite a few new subscribers uh, in the past month. I was uh, inching, inching, inching until I got up above 100 and now shooting towards 200, just like that. A thousand is, uh, is right around the corner, I hope. All right, well, I'm getting ready to split some wood this morning. Um, Northeast Ohio, man, you don't like the weather? Just give it a minute, it'll change. Uh, we're we're going to warm up to like over 40 degrees. It's going to be like 45 tomorrow. And a lot of this snow that's on the ground, uh, the thin stuff, the stuff out underneath where you plow, it's going to melt off. So I should have a, a nice clean gravel driveway. But then we're going to rain and we're going to get a lot of ice. They were thinking we were going to get some snow, but uh, now they're saying it's going to be just ice, like an inch and a half of ice. That should be horrible. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's going to be crippling. So make hay while the sun is shining. I'm going to set up here and my dad's coming over while my daughter goes to school. And uh, we're going to split some wood this afternoon just because it's going to be a nice sunny day and a little above freezing. So anyway, I had a subscriber, a new subscriber, asking about my woodshed or at least commenting on it. Give me a little compliment. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it, w it worked out really well. And so there's two ways to build things. Like when I built my shed, I designed the shed to the size I wanted it and then bought material. I used a lot of repurposed material, but I bought material to fit the design. Well, this woodshed was built the opposite way. I had certain material and I built the shed according to what material I le had left. I'm, I'm really big about using repurposed material or stuff that's sitting around that, that this just isn't getting used. So what we have here, oh, let me get you a little closer here. So most of the construction of this woodshed, the, the framing of it, is made with landscape timbers. I used landscape timbers on the front and the back. Get the shadow out of the way. There you go, you can see. I had just eight foot landscape timbers. And then I had some treated four by four left over two, cut those into four foot sections, put them in between the landscape timbers and the whole walls here. Let me take you around the back side of it. You can see it better here. You got your whole frame made out of landscape timbers. And then if it wasn't snowing, you'd see on the bottom, it's the same thing across the bottom. And then treated two by fours where I needed them every eight feet. And then all of the slats for the walls. And of course, you know, with a woodshed, you want to keep plenty of airflow. So you don't want to make a solid wall. Uh, the slats were ripped from it's kind of like two by four material, but it's like scrap lumber that they use to uh, strap down loads of lumber at the wood yards. My dad worked at a wood yard for a while here, a local wood yard, and uh, they had all this scrap material and he saved it, of course. And uh, I used that on the bottoms. And like I said, I ripped it to make the, the walls and the slats uh, hold the wood in, but keep the air or allow the air, hold the wood in, but allow the air to come in too. And uh, of course you want it to breathe. So when I stack, these are four feet deep, but I cut my firewood to 18 inches, not 16. So I leave a space in between the two stacks and the whole woodshed with three sections. So each section measures eight feet tall by eight feet wide and it's four feet deep. And I can stack two stacks of firewood in each stall. So it ends up being a cord and a third in every stall. And there are three stalls, so a total of four cords of wood in this entire woodshed, which is plenty for us to burn in the wintertime. And of course you wanna get your wood stacked and starting the season before Easter, so you can burn it that fall or sooner if possible. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna go get my dad, drop my daughter off at school, and we're gonna split some wood this afternoon.
<sighs> it's a good day, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful day. Just oh. right for cutting wood. Yeah. I think it got up above freezing. Things are starting to melt. Yep. Well, we split at least a third of a cord. Yeah. Probably closer to a half. Yeah. Feels that way anyway. Feels like we split two cords. Yeah. Oh, so we were figuring out how much I have. And between that pin oak that isn't split up and this pile over here and all the stuff that's in the shed and all the stuff that's split up over here, I've got about 10 cords of wood. I'm sure that's a conservative estimate. Yeah. Is that enough? That's enough to last this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I'm going to stack another rack of wood and bring it in the garage and call that it for today. Think that's enough? Yeah, that, that'll, that'll do. We're tired enough. <laughs> okay, good. All right, see you tomorrow. So yesterday we almost got that stall filled. It's close. Uh, so we're going to finish that up today. Got a couple rounds here. And this is what I'm doing to, uh, to move the rounds over here since I've got the uh, snow plow on the front. I don't have the bucket. I use the carry-all on the back and you can actually lift a lot more with the carry-all on the three-point hitch. So just stack up the rounds and bring them over here and then I'll, uh, you know, throw them on the splitter and my dad will stack them. So after that, we're going to move over here. I uh, did some shoveling and I'm going to try and get the wood splitter back in this little area here. And then I'll grab these rounds, split them up, and we're going to start stacking them back here in this uh, bin that I made is empty now. So anyway, got a lot of splitting and a lot of stacking to do today. So we're gonna get to work and uh, gotta do it while the sun is shining because Ohio cannot make up its mind. Right now it's gonna be 44 degrees, beautiful sunshiny day, the snow is melting. Wednesday it's gonna rain. And then of course Thursday, we might get an inch and a half of ice or we might get another 10 inches of snow, who knows? So like I say, Ohio can't make up its mind. So we're gonna do what we can when we can and get it done as fast as possible. So let's get to it. That stall is full. All right, so next we're going over here. I'm all set up. Got the splitter set up in this little nook here. I'll split, set it on that table, and he's gonna stack them back there. So here we go again. That's good for today. Yeah, I think we're putting a day's work today. I wish we could work like all day this weather. <laughs> yeah. Gotta pick, gotta pick Kalen up though. Really wear me out. Right. All right. Me wear you yeah. out. <laughs> Got lots to go there. Yeah, I cannot believe how much is there. I, I thought for sure we'd go through it before. We got stalls and stalls of wood left to split. So, yep. all right. Well, we made a dent. That's for sure. Every day and nibble away at it. Yep. Tomorrow's gonna rain, and it's gonna rain and rain, and it's gonna turn to ice. And like I said earlier, then we're gonna get maybe 10 inches of snow. So this is gonna be it for this week. And uh, next week, who knows what Ohio's gonna do? <laughs> so. Be a lot of snow to thaw by next week. Right. So get out and do some stuff when you can. Until then, we'll see you then. <laughs>